everyone, welcome to the second edition of At Home With Me June Wine Wednesdays. This is the second edition. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so happy we got renewed. This is in partnership with BC Wines. For those of you who watched the first series, congratulations to Maya Brown of Botanist for making it all the way to the finale and taking the crown. Um, follow winebc.com on Twitter and on Instagram and hashtag boutique wines or hashtag BC wine to participate in the convos. Every single week I invite three songs to come on and compete in a blind wine tasting competition. They are local songs. This is to support our local uh, song community and wineries. And so far, all the wines featured in this series are going to be newly released small lot wines handpicked by BC liquor stores offered for a limited time only. So you have to get them while they last. Our first sommelier is Lee Barkley. Lee Barkley's restaurant apprenticing took him first to Italy, then to France, where he settled and lived in Bordeaux from 2012 to 2018, rising to chef sommelier at some of France's most notable bistros and Michelin starred restaurants. He won the Bordeaux Sommelier competition in 2017 and was the first Canadian to earn the International ASI Sommelier Diploma in Paris in 2018. He was also honored with one of the top three best restaurant wine lists in France for the list he built at Le Chapon Fin. Now back in Canada, he was a semi-finalist in both Sommelier of the Year in BC and the Master of Port in Montreal. Welcome Lee Barkley. Okay, Lee, we are waiting for you to sign on. He did just give us a wave right there. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'm so happy to have you continue this series with me. Of course, without the partnership and support of BC Wines, we wouldn't be able to do this show. So without you guys watching, I wouldn't be able to do this either. So Lee Barkley, we are waiting for him to join. And he was previously actually at Blue Water Cafe, which is part of the Top Table Group. Sorry, Lee, I'm not sure if you, re if you requested me to join already. But just log out and do that again. Hi, Kelsey. How are you? Okay, Kelsey. Hi, Lee. Okay, so you got to log out and then you got to log in. So then request to join and then you can sign me back on. And you guys see right there, winebc.com. Good luck, Lee. We look forward for your speed blind tasting. That is uh, who my partner is to do this show. So give them a good follow. And again, hashtag boutique wines. Uh, okay, Kelsey Jones is leaving. Kelsey Jones is the next song competing um, in this series. So she does, she can't see what's going on and what Lee's answers are because then it might mess her up or give her clues on what to guess and everything's like super discreet here so we have to keep it quiet. So don't go like texting Kelsey what Lee said because I know you guys are all like connected in like the wine and song world. All right, Lee, you are so ready by your phone. Okay, there you go. View, go live with Lee Barkley. Yay! Lee, where are you? Really soon, you're here, right? Thank you. Lee, how are you? Good, can you see me? I can see you. You look really nice and sharp and very dapper. <laughs> I'm working right now. <laughs> are you ready, are you working? Okay, where can people find you right now, by the way? Uh, so you can come find me on Smythe and Homer at that per se social corner. Awesome, okay, let's get started. Open that first mystery bottle I gave you. <clears throat> All right, here we are. Here we go. Unopened. So are you, okay, I gotta ask, are you French or are you French Canadian? No, I'm from Langley, but uh, I uh, uh, moved to France. Ah, you're actually a BC boy. Yeah, BC boy, yeah. Very good, okay, I wasn't sure because you're very, like, worldly. You've lived in Italy and France <laughs> and all this stuff, so I just had to double check. All right, have a sip of that. <clears throat> all right, so this is a rosé, clearly. Uh-huh. Very aromatic. Okay. Although there's... I have bitterness in here. Feels like a blend. I want to say there's red and white grapes in this blend. All right. Are you ready for your first question? Yes. Is this a single varietal or blend? Blend. Blend. If it is a blend, what is the main grape variety? Um... Let's go with uh, uh, I know it's hard. This is such a tough competition, guys. If you guys are there, send them hearts, send them a bunch of emojis because it's, that's it's how we support super, them super nowadays. Cool. Uh, let's say Cabernet Franc primarily. Cabernet Franc? Yeah, but I get a reverse on the nose, it's super okay, full. So go what's back. your lockdown answer? The dominant grape? Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc. Lockdown? Lockdown. 
what are the other grape varieties in this wine if it is a blend? Um, I want to say there's some white varietals in here as well. I think there's a misdemeanor. And, misdemeanor, uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, other reds too, probably Merlot, Pinot Noir. Probably Merlot, Pinot Noir, although you're going with those three, yeah. misdemeanor, Pinot Noir, and Merlot. Yeah. All right, lock it down. Are you confident? <laughs> no, not with no, this one. No, that's okay. <laughs> I know, it's scary. I'm going to think like, oh, this is going to be okay. It's freaking hard. This is a really hard Well, Rosé Rose is the hardest. Rosé is the yes. hardest. Even, even French Rosé is tough. Okay, and then now for the breaker, in case there's a tie, what is the alcohol percentage? Uh, 12%. 12%. Are you locked down? Yes. Lock it down. Open that bottle number two. Go. <clears throat> All right, number two. Okay. Here we go. So do you, do, like the people at work know you're doing this right now, or are you just trying to like keep it cool and like? Yeah, I got a color here watching me right now. Oh, they are. Everyone's <laughs> watching you and cheering you on. No pressure at all. That's right. Okay, let's go. All. all right, white wine. White wine. Uh huh. This is very terpenic for. This has got to be one of those uh, Alsatian aromatic bridles. I'm so excited. It's seriously like so tense watching you guys. Uh. Oh, you're swallowing too. No, Lots of sweetness. Okay, well, are you, you know, ready for the first question? Day. Yes. Is this a single varietal or blend? Single varietal. Single varietal. What is the main grape variety? This is Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer. Okay, and what, this is not for points, but I'm just curious, what region or regions is this wine from? You know they're all from BC, but just curious if you have, would have like an idea, if you had to say where this might be from. Yeah, I'd say Northern Okanagan Valley. Northern Okanagan Valley. And what Kelowna. is the alcohol percentage? Uh, low. Uh, also 12%. Also 12%. Are you locked down? Yes. Lock it down. Bottle number three. Let's go. I'm so right, excited to the last ball. For those of you who just joined, we are with Lee Barkley. He is at Per Se Social um, on Homer Street. And he is doing a blind wine tasting competition right now. He is the first song to go at this in our series <laughs> two. Great. All right, Great. what are you seeing here? What is this? More rosé. More rosé. That is a very the big worst. wine. Summer patios, BC. We love our rosés here. All right. Well, this is a darker color, um, and it certainly has less floral notes in the first one. It's more fruit forward. Mm -hmm. Cherries and strawberries. Mm -hmm. You and JP okay. at Boulevard are the only ones that have not I'm used ready. spit buckets for this. Is this a single uh, varietal yeah. or a blend? Single varietal this time. People are complimenting your swirling skills, by the way. They're saying you have excellent <laughs> swirling okay. skills. So what's your, okay, we'll ask about your technique after. What, uh, so wait, did you say this is a single or a blend? Single varietal. Single varietal. What is the main grape variety? Um, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. And just again, just for fun, what region is this wine from? if it's a Pinot Noir, single bridal. Uh, I'm gonna say this is from the Naramata bench. Naramata bench, all right, all right. And what is the alcohol percentage in this? This feels a bit warmer than last year. I'm gonna say 13%. 13%, okay, so 12% for the first, second was 12, and then this one, 13%. Are you locked down? Mm -hmm. Very nice. And what wine are you feeling today? Like just kind of, you know, you have your picks and preferences, but just what are you feeling today with this nice weather we're getting? Oh, I love this dry, crisp rosé. The third one's my favorite. The third one? And what would you pair with that? Um, let's see. Well, here we got some, a really, really nice Wagyu beef carpaccio. A little bit of uh, garlic truffle aioli, some uh, uh, fresh greens on top, a bit of pepper, yeah. you know, that uh, arugula. Perfect. Love it. Sun out in the patio set. Beautiful. I'm excited. So again, for those of you who joined us, we are with Lee Barkley. You can find him at Per Se Social on Homer Street, and he will give you wine pairings, help you with all your wine needs, and your, yeah, we can find you there. Are you there, like, in the evenings? Is it opening for a day right now? How can people find yep. you? Yep. All day. Yeah. Awesome. We're open and uh, lunch and dinner. On Instagram. You guys see his handle right there. Thank you, Lee, for joining us. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Good luck to the rest Bye. of the guys. Bye. Next up, how exciting was that? That was Lee Barkley. Next up, we have Kelsey Jones. 
She's a perennial student of wine. Kelsey holds the WSET diploma, a three IC certificate, and is working toward her Court of Masters, Somalia's advanced designation. Oh, prior to Shambar, Kelsey worked on the wine team for the Hawksworth Group and stage for two vintages in the south of France. Outside of wine, Kelsey holds a master's in English literature from the University of Toronto. Welcome, Kelsey Jones. Go live. That was actually perfect timing. I'm so glad. Usually it never works that smoothly, but you guys like stay on with me. But that actually felt like super cool. Hi, Kelsey. I'm here. How are you? I'm, I'm so great. excited to have you on the show. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm so excited to be here. It's nice yes. to have okay, you're a little bit quiet. You're a little oh, bit quiet, okay. so you might have to just talk a little bit closer to the mic if possible. But you, okay. you but you're gorgeous. The lighting is amazing. So so pretty. Are you ready? Ready to go. Let's get started. Open that first bottle. Okay. Okay. Bottle and just as one. a reminder, all these wines are available at BC liquor stores, and they are in limited production. So you have to go to BC liquor stores to get them while quantities last. We are with Kelsey Jones. She is the wine director of Shambar, which is a lovely restaurant. Um, and you should go find her there. I'm sure she will be helping, help, be able to help you with tons of your wine needs. All right, take your sip. Okay. So this first wine uh -huh. looks to be rosé. It has a beautiful sort of salmon pink color, very delicate, mm -hmm. light pink. Mmm, really fresh red berry aromatics. Oh, you're Agreed. adorable. You're making me want to buy this wine. <laughs> Good. I, I like this wine already, so I think you should buy it. Perfect. Okay. Well, I like hearing that. Kelsey, look. Okay. People are people are really rooting for you right here. People are like, you know your wines. Oh. Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> I thank you to whoever said that at winebc.com. A lot of people are cheering you on right now. Go, Kelsey. Okay. Take your first sip. Okay. Is this a single varietal or a blend? I think it's a single varietal wine. Okay, and what is the main grape variety? I think it's Pinot Noir. We're pretty well known for Pinot Noir based rosés in BC and this has that tingly strawberry brightness and lots of really ripping acidity that makes me think. Okay, and for fun, just curious, what region do you think this wine might be from? Ooh. I know it's a really tricky question. But this is. Is, this is seriously such a hard competition. For those of you who joined us, you walked into a blind wine tasting competition with some of the top and favorite sommeliers in BC. We are with Kelsey Jones, who is the wine director of Shambar, and she is on her first wine tasting. So far, she has nailed, she has, yes, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm just thinking, because you asked the question, it's, uh, it's interesting because we have lots of new areas that are added to the regions in BC, but this has an island brightness to me. So Ooh. even though there's lots of Pinot Noir in the Okanagan Valley, that would be the place I might have said, but I'm going to go Vancouver Island. That's my guess. All right, Vancouver Island. Very interesting. And what is the alcohol percentage in this wine? Again, this is for tiebreakers in case you guys are close. I'm glad you asked that because that's the reason I chose the island. It's got a kind of like lower, not low, but I'm going to go 12.5% 12 12 alcohol. Um, very well integrated. 12.5. Are you locked down? Final answer? I'm locked in, Mijun. Final answer. Open that bottle number two. Oh, look at her go. She's just drinking the whole thing. I love it. <laughs> I love it. This is great. You're enjoying that one. Number yes, two. Bottle number two. Crack that open. I am mm -hmm. having fun. Oh, good. This is, that's the thing. This is supposed to be a fun show. It's very fun, lighthearted. We are here to support the local sommeliers in the city and the restaurants and, of course, our BC wineries. You can find all of these wines at your BC liquor stores. They are limited quantities, though, so after the show, you kind of have to rush out and go get them. Well, maybe not all at once, because we are still all social distancing. Okay, let me know what you're thinking of this one. Wine number two. Okay, this is a super aromatic uh, variety or potentially blend, um, which is something we have a lot of in BC. We have a lot of Gewürztraminer, Riesling, Viognier, yeah. white growth. Okay. So I'm in an aromatic variety of some kind. We're loving this education you're giving us. 
It's great. I'm going to talk you through my process. I want to pick up points. You know? No, we love it. We love it. Oh my gosh. Almost a spritzy like thing for you guys. Okay. On the palette. Are you ready for your first question? Yeah. Is this a single varietal or a blend? I think it's a single varietal one. Single varietal. And what is the what is the grape if it's a single varietal? Potentially a weird like there's something about it that reminds me of like Ortega from again from the island. Maybe it's an island flight, but um, or Sagrebe or one of those like German varieties. But I'm gonna go for a variety that we do well and we do a lot of in BC, which is Gewurztraminer. Gewurztraminer. So you're going with single varietal, varietal Gewurztraminer, right? And mm -hmm. what region do you think it could be from? I think it's from the Kootenays. Kootenays. All yeah. right. And the mm -hmm. third question, what is the alcohol percentage? Pretty low on this wine. Uh -huh. It has a little bit of effervescence and a little off dry note, which suggests to me that they wanted to keep this a lower alcohol, like fun patio sipper. So sure. I'm going to go 12, 12%. 12%. And your final answer? Locked in. 12% locked in. Open that third bottle, girl. I'm so excited. This is great. Are you at home right now or are you at Shambar? I'm at home. You're at home right now. Okay, lovely. Yeah. This is so nice. We're having a wine with you at home. It's so fun. I can't wait to... Um, I'm gonna have and how a often do you do this? Like, you're um, just so casual and chill about it. You're like, yeah, whatever. This is just my normal, <laughs> you know? It's pretty normal for me to do blinds, but it is not normal for me to do blinds in front of people. Um, really? This is really maybe one of the first wine competitions that I've ever done in like a... Yeah, me too, and you're my first. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I like diversionized <laughs> your blind wine tasting to the local community public. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. Of and course. look at that third bottle. Are we back to oh, yeah. what are we back to? So number three, I just cracked it. Awesome. Um, got a pink color again here. Okay. A little bit darker in color than the previous wine, though, which might tell us something about how it was made. Either it had yeah. more skin contact or it's a different variety. All right. Love that little, love the little tips and the educational bits, as always. <laughs> this is great. I'm just like, okay, you can host the show next time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You, you are the, the star, and I will just... Uh, oh, no, like, not at all. Right, right now, it's all on you. So you take that sip. Oh, as a reminder, Uncork BC, right there, follow her. You can check out Uncork BC for a list of every single tasting room that's open across the province right now. So that's just an updated list. You can check that out. I just want to remind people that. Okay, you took your first sip? First sip done. Okay. Is this a single bridal or a blend? I think this one is a blend. A blend. And if this is a blend, what is the dominant grape variety? I think Merlot. Merlot. And what are the other grape varieties in this so-called blend, if it is a blend? Mm. If it is a blend. I could see there being some Pinot Noir in this one as well. And maybe a, a white grape like um, Pinot Blanc or something, just to sort of lift it up and give it a little zing. Okay. A little bit more low-toned aromatics than the first rosé that we had, though. Okay. So are those your final answers? Merlot... Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris. Final? Okay. Those three, locked down. What is the alcohol percentage? A little bit more elevated than the last one, so I'm going to go 13.5. 13.5. Okay, 13.5%. And that's locked down? Very nice. Locked and which down. one are you feeling today? I mean, all of them are lovely. All of them give different vibes. Which one are you feeling? Yeah, they're all so good. So far, number one has my heart. I just like the zippy, light freshness of it. Okay, and I what would you would pair be... with number one? Mm, I think it would be really good with like a, um, a tuna dish with a tiny hint of spice, like maybe tagine spice, something kind of limey and fresh. Um, I would have this also maybe with like fresh green peas um, or like a shaved veggie salad with asparagus and arugula and bright, I love that. So very spring, mm -hmm. very spring forward yeah. and warming up yeah. to summer. I hope so. The weather's looking good this week. 
It's beautiful out right now. I don't know where everybody else is watching from, but it is so warm. I almost did this for my patio. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Kelsey. We will come find you at Sham Bar next time, okay? Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. So fun. Okay, amazing. Next up, we have our third song. Who is Woody Wu? Woody Wu is a certified sommelier, a burgundy fanatic. Not necessarily a good taster, but definitely a dedicated drinker. Somalia is less a job than a way of life. One of living for taste above all else. Woody Woo, he is from the Oracle Club. Do you guys know the Oracle Club? It's in Richmond. It's a French bistro, kind of more elevated than that. It's a really nice restaurant. You can check out Woody Woo there. His wine collection is pretty intense. He's got like private wine dining rooms. He probably lives there half the time. Actually, I think he lives in like Paris half the time too. Woody Woo is going to be joining us. Uh, thank you to Rick for also giving us that suggestion. Uh, Ridley, Rick right there. I know you're cheering Woody on. He's a good friend of yours. So I'm so excited to have him on this show. I frequently actually see Woody dining out in restaurants. I'm not sure he, if he actually has a job because he, this guy lives the life. Like from wine to food, he knows what's good. So welcome Woody Woo. And see, this is usually what happens. It's like I welcome Woody Woo and then they're not here yet. And then you guys just kind of have to chill with me for a little bit until they come on. But for those of you who just tuned in, you're watching At Home With Me June Wine Wednesdays in partnership with BC Wines. Every single week, I bring on three sommeliers, which are your favorite sommeliers, your top sommeliers in BC, to do a blind wine tasting competition of our local BC wines. All the wine featured in this series are available at your BC liquor stores. They are hand-selected in small quantities, so you have to get them while they last. I am going to announce the winner after every episode, as well as the mystery bottle of wines, which are right next to me, right here, right here. So don't leave yet because we're just waiting for our last sommelier to join us. Woody, you were late. We were so on this before. Two minutes, buddy. This is going to eat into your time of guessing. So he's trying to join us from actually the Orgo Club uh, restaurant handle right now. And I hope he's not having too much difficulties. Um, if any of you know Woody, like, Rick, I'd send him a text right now and be like, hey, buddy, you're late. Oh, there we go. Here he is, the Oracle Club. Let's go. And yeah, again, there's sometimes a little stall, but that's OK. Hi, Woody. Hi, how are you? How are you? We're so happy to have you on the show. Usually, I'm seeing you at some restaurant yeah. eating like a king. And now <laughs> I'm seeing you drink which is always fun because you're always drinking when you're eating as well. Are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, I just got back. I saw uh, Lee briefly and I was like, you know, on and off and I saw Casey. I mean, like, I uh, I feel like I need to go back and change, you know, like. They, oh, are you serious? Oh, yes. No, you're looking great. We're so excited to have you on the show. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say about these wines. You have your three mystery bottles of wines with you, right? Yeah, yeah, I just pulled them out from the fridge. All right, let's crack that first bottle open. Okay, uh, okay, perfect. Uh, number Holy one. Woo, people are cheering you on. You have some fans out here. <laughs> Rick, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, because you were three minutes late, that's, people that's, are suggesting you owe me a meal now. Uh, the, the thing. <laughs> All right, you got that? Yeah, let me, uh, it was, it's. Okay. So, so for those of you who don't know Woody, Woody is uh, your, I would say, is a co-owner of uh, the Orgo Club? Yeah. The Oracle Club, yes, open that bottle of wine, yeah. And there's two locations for that. One's actually in China. And is it in Beijing or Shanghai? Beijing? Beijing, yes. It's in Beijing. And that the second good. location open in Vancouver. It's a private wine club, but the restaurant is actually open for public. But um, if you're a wine, um, I don't want to say snob, but if you're like <laughs> wine, like a pure person, you need to go find Woody. Yeah, like a upper, an upper, an upper wine, upper. Yeah. Okay. Did you try it? Have it's, you tried it? Uh, it's a rosé. It's a rosé. Okay. It got so it got a little bit bubbles there. So I guess the you know it's obviously fresh. It's a it's young wine. Okay. And so how how does it go? Like do I go? So you sip it. Yeah, you sip it. I walk you through this. Clearly, you haven't seen a show yet before, Woody. No, that's okay. Okay, take a sip. Take a sip. Take a sip. Take a sip. Yeah. <laughs> take a sip, please. Nice. Okay. Now I ask you a question just because we're running short on time now. Is this a single varietal or a blend? 
I know your thing is Burgundy. I know you're all about French, but I know you also have room for BC and you like to support local. So I'm kind of, this is, this is, this is a really hard competition, guys. For anyone watching right now, it is not easy. Is this a single varietal or a blend? This is a single varietal. Single varietal. What is the main grape variety? It's, it's, it's lighter, you know, pretty, uh, pretty much like a lot of the candy, red fruit, uh, okay. strawberry, a little bit raspberry. Okay. Just a hint of, uh, just a hint of that, you know, um, you know, you know, like a wild cherry quality to it. I would, I would say, I mean, BC does well, like this is a really good quality of uh, uh, BC Rosé. Um, I would say this is a Pinot Noir. Uh, Pinot, Pinot Noir. Okay, so you went with single varietal and you're going with Pinot Noir, right? Pinot Noir Rosé, I would say. Okay, so we're locking that down. What is the alcohol percentage in this wine? I know, this is for the tiebreakers, just in case. That's a question that um, I usually don't come up to think of uh, when, when I drink wine. No, Unless but this is a different kind of show and I'm putting you on the spot. But don't worry, this is just for tiebreakers. I know but, it's like a crazy question, but we love crazy on this show. In, it's quite light, it's dry. Um, I would say it's low. Uh, it's, it's, it's probably around 12%. 12%, are you locked down? Yeah, I would say 12, 12, 12.5. 12 or 12.5, no <laughs> ifs, ands, or buts. 12 or 12.5, lock it down, be confident. You this have is to just for tiebreakers, yeah? Follow it to know the alcohol. 12.5. 12.5%. He is locked down. Open bottle number two. Okay. Yes. Number You're two. so chill. You're so chill. <laughs> no big deal. Even though you were three minutes late. No big deal. I'm shaving minutes off your time now. No, <laughs> I, thought, I don't care. I thought that just, you know, by watching your, uh, your show, I would be automatically, you know, got in, but... Uh, there was uh, like a... Oh, yeah, you have to sign out and then sign in. We confuse you all. Actually, it's not me. I don't own an Instagram. I wish I did. If okay. I did, I wouldn't know. I'd still be doing the oh, show I meant. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's clearly a uh, white wine. A white wine. <sighs> it's very mm. aromatic. It's very uh, aromatic. Fumy. Uh, it's got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, stone fruit. Um, yeah. You know, there's a little bit of that lemony, you know, um, you know, uh, pear. Okay. Now, is this a single varietal or blend? This is for points. It's got a bit of uh, sugar. I mean, it's a... Uh, single it's or blend? A little bit uh, off dry, a little bit. Yep. Single or blend? Oh, he's got, he's got, all right, come on, buddy. Where the single, time is ticking. It's a single variety. Single varietal. What is the main grape variety if it is a single varietal? Well, it's not a Sauvignon Blanc. It's okay. Not a Riesling. Okay. It, it tastes much more like a uh, Corverse, but lighter Corverse Strominer. Okay, so you're gonna go with that or not? Yeah, I couldn't think of something else, unless it's a hybrid. If it's a hybrid from BC, I probably don't know. But you, went, you already locked down your single varietal, so you said single varietal, and you wanna go with what answer? Corverse. Corverse Wiener. Okay, and what is the alcohol percentage? Again, it this is just for tiebreakers in case. Yeah, I mean, it's got a little bit of sugar, so I, I, I would say it's lower. Okay. I know, the pressure. I'll go with 11.5. Uh, 11.5, 11 .5. are you locked down? Sure. <laughs> I love how this was like uh, like five seconds. Like, okay, that doesn't matter. Open bottle number three. Time is ticking. I'm giving you an extra minute, even though you were late. Okay, yes, bottle number three. For those of you who just joined, we are doing blind wine tastings with some of Vancouver and BC's favorite sommeliers. 
uh, such as Woody Woo, who we have here right now. Not Woody Woo is one of the co-founders and owners of the Orgo Club in Richmond. It is a French bistro restaurant and probably in Western cuisine, it's probably like the top one in Richmond for sure, right? You guys do a killer uh, morel uh, pasta. That's ridiculously good. Okay, but, but I have to get onto this wine tasting and put more pressure on you. Did you have a sip of this third bottle yet? Uh, not yet. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised. It's, it's another rosé. It's another rosé. Yeah, we're full of tricks. Let's go. I know. I'm giving you a lot of pressure, buddy. Are you ready? Oh, my God. He's, like, hiding from me. He's scared. Okay. okay. Is this a single varietal or a blend? It's, uh, it still tastes like a Pinot Noir rosé to me. Okay. So you can go with that. It's whatever you want to go with. Okay. That's what you're going with? Uh, just give me a sec. I'll do second. All right. This one is actually more like a, more like a little bit uh, fuller, fuller body. Maybe so more. Single or single or single varietal or blend? A single. Single. Okay. And what is the predominant grape? Or no, what is the grape? If you say if it's a single, what's the grape? Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, and what's the alcohol percentage? I think it's a little bit higher than the first one. Yeah. So I, I just give a guess. I mean, first one, I guess 12.5. Yes. I think it would be, you know, on par or higher, 13. 13? So what are you gonna go with? I love Woody's answers. There's like three of them. It's like a multiple choice, except they're your answers. I wish I could do exams like that too. I have three answers for you. It's one of them. Yes. It's just like a progress. You're like, okay, this is- No, I'm giving you a hard time right now. You're doing awesome. But I need to get your answer because your time is running out. Okay, so. Oh my God, I gotta squeeze your little neck. Hey, Lee's competing. Like, I don't <laughs> like, you know. It's funny. We know each other, so don't worry about it. But come on, Woody, give us okay. the number. 13. 13. You are amazing. We will come find you. You can continue watching because now I'm going to showcase what the mystery bottles are, but you have to say goodbye to me now. I'm going to keep going on with the show. Right. Okay. And thank you so much, Woody. Go find him at the Orgo Club in Richmond. He is awesome. He seriously does. He, 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 he has a big wine collection. So go find him there at the Orgo Club. Thank you for joining us. We'll say bye to you, Woody. And the rest of you stay with me because we are going to be revealing the mystery bottles. Bye, Woody. Uh, tell me how wrong I am. <laughs> you can continue watching to see how right or wrong you were. Bye. Uh, okay, see, now you've got to sign out. you gotta, you got to end, uh, end the live chat. All right, buddy. Please. All right. Okay. That was fun. Now, thanks for staying with me, guys. Ooh, I almost showed you guys what I have. So bottle number one, this is the reveal. What do we have? We have the 2018 Rosé from Unsworth Vineyards. It's a single varietal Pinot Noir. I think we have some guesses for that. The main grape variety is obviously a Pinot Noir. The region is Vancouver Island. Uh, it's a uh, dominant 48% Vancouver Island, 43% Fraser Valley, and 9% Gulf Islands. Alcohol percentage is 12.9%. I think all of them actually guessed around that 12% uh, mark. Uh, Unsworth Vineyards uh, on Instagram, you can follow them. It is $18.99 at the BC Liquor Store. This pairs well with most Mediterranean fare, Mediterranean grilled chicken, fish, shrimp, tuna, or lobster, fresh salads, particularly salad niçoise and melon and prosciutto. So you can pick this one up at, for $18.99 at your BC Liquor Store's limited quantity, so get them while they last. Bottle number two is this one. Yes, this was a really, really hard one. This is a 2017, are you guys ready for it? Sigariba. <laughs> it's a German grape, guys. Sigariba. 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 I literally like had to practice that so many times this morning. Sigariba. Sigi. Single tree winery. It's a single varietal. Sigariba. Main grape variety. Sigariba. Region. First rally wine region. Alcohol percentage. 11.5%. I think actually most of them were guessing on the lighter side. They were like, oh, I taste some residual sugars. I'm guessing on the lighter side. Most of them were around that point. 11.5% 
Uh, you can follow them at Single Tree Wine on Instagram. And this retails for $16.49 at the BC Liquor Store. It pairs well with creamy potato or leek soup, such as the Vichoisi, soft fresh cheese, delicate white fishes, or light curries. Perfect for brunch or lighter fruit desserts. Boop. Okay, next bottle. The last bottle is bottle number three. The mystery bottle is this. This is a 2019 Rosé Oruk from Peak Cellars. It's a single varietal Pinot Noir. We had a couple of guesses for that too. Main grape variety obviously is a Pinot Noir. The region is Okanagan Valley Winery region. Alcohol percentage is 14%. You can follow them at Peak Cellars on Instagram, and it retails for $19.99 at the BC Liquor Store. This pairs with anything tomato or pesto-based sauces, such as a margarita pizza, lobster or pea stew pizza, or pulled pork pizza. We're obviously outside of Italy with that one. Also pairs well with salmon, prosciutto, pork chop, star anise, tarragon-infused butter, nuts, asparagus, and Sichuan. So you is, this is like a multi-purpose wine. I am gonna showcase you all three of these again. And you guys can take a, a screenshot because you guys, again, usually have ugly photos of me and this one at least I can pose for. So, yay. Okay, get your screenshot. This is what you're picking up. Got it? Yes. Okay, thanks guys. So make sure you guys are gonna do that. Uh, those are your three bottles, all newly released, small lot wines, handpicked by BC liquor stores, offered for a limited time only. I'm gonna announce the winner. Oh my gosh, I know you guys have been waiting for this. I don't even know who it is, do you? This is the winner, Woody! Woody, you're a semi-finalist and you're going through to the finale episode on July 15th. You will not be given another hour to yourself to do the show though. I am gonna be giving you only 10 minutes. So Woody Woo, you are going through to the finale round on July 15th. Now the next episode of At Home With Me June Wine Wednesday is next Wednesday. June 24th at 6 p.m., uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time for anyone following them there. And we are featuring Brett Pearson of Ancora Dining, uh, Dina Van Mulligan, she's also known as the Wine Diva, and Michael Littleford of Chin Chin Restaurant. So tune in next Wednesday, June 24th at 6 p.m. on my Instagram Live, and as well tag winebc.com on Instagram or on Twitter, hashtag Boutique Wines, and BC Wine to participate in the discussion and support our local wineries. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Bye.